Fincher is back, kinda, as a TV show producer. Let's check out this new Netflix show. Shepard finds out you've been interviewing the co-ed killer, he'll flip his shit. It's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. So you're just gonna say and do whatever you want. We decided no one was beneath our contempt. And that snail didn't change your mind. Psycho what happens to these men is normal, but the way that they process it is not. I just decided to kill them. It is not our job to commiserate with these people. Hello, ladies. It is our... Mindhunter. All right, so Mindhunter is a show which set, takes place in 1979. It's a show starring two FBI agents, one who is a H&T, Hoshis Negotiator, and then the other guy who is basically a teacher that he used to think he was in, hom he was in homicide. They travel around... The, uh, the country teaching FBI techniques to to uh, at your average American cops where they kind of they kind of find this case of a of some weirdness of like the first signs of what they first call a singlet killer then the show takes place basically they're interviewing serial killers they're trying to get into the psyche of what makes a serial killer and they're basically, they're basically just trying to classify them and they so they can try to prevent this stuff from happening in the near future. I have to say, I really enjoyed this show. I was really interested in this show for a lot of reasons. Number one is I really like David Fincher. Even though this is not really a David Fincher show or movie, he directed three episodes of this show. And you definitely do see a Fincher sense to it. It kind of reminds you of a little bit of a Seven and a Zodiac kind of feel to it. The hardest part about getting through this season or even the show is for people who who are just seeing on this Netflix and they're like, okay, well, what show should I watch? House of Cards, Orange City Black. You gotta give this episode more than one episode a chance because the show doesn't really get going until episode two. And I really like the setup episode because it's a setup episode. The thing that the thing that has to succeed for the show is the chemistry between the two main cops. And I have to say, I really like the two main characters. I thought they had really great chemistry with each other, and they're very, very interesting together. And I did like the moment of the show where it was like in episode seven, the, the case just the the serial killers are actually just they're getting to our two main characters, and they're just like they're so they're messed up and and like one moment of the, uh, of the season one of the main characters he's having he's having sex with his girlfriend and he's trying to have sex at least and he she's, he sees his, her shoes and he just can't do it it just shows how messed up this uh, case and this this work is actually getting to him I also really like the I like the Boston doctor the uh, who's helping him with the more theater theater the more of the work behind the scenes. If you like Fincher works like Seven and Zodiac and Fight Club, I recommend checking out Mindhunter. It's a very good uh, TV show to work checking out. Guys, have you seen Mindhunters? What are your thoughts? Comment below. Let me know. And guys, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button. Subscribe to see more. Tell your friends about Easy Nation. Oh,